If a customer's calling and they're having a problem with their internet, we usually ask them to take a look at their router. These devices are never turned off, so a good idea would be to power cycle the router. And you can do that one of two ways. If you're facing the router where it says Smart RG up front, if you turn it to the left, you'll notice there's a button on the bottom that says on or off. Well, if you click that button and it comes out, that means you've just turned it off and you can verify that none of the lights are on up top. Um, if you give it a few moments, anywhere between three or five seconds, you click that button again, you'll notice the lights come back on, and that's one way you can power cycle it. Another way you can power cycle the router would be to uh, simply unplug this circular power cord here. It's plugged into the port that says power, and if you pull it out, wait a three to five seconds again, plug it back in, you'll notice the lights come back on, and those are the two different ways you can power cycle your device. After we've done that, we ask the customer to ensure that the power light, which is represented by a circular symbol, the WAN light and internet lights come back on. If you're noticing that there are no lights on your router and you've, you've toggled your power switch on or off a couple of times and you've ensured that your power cord is plugged in, I would check to see if maybe you have it plugged into a power strip or if there's an outlet that may have a power surge or maybe uh, you've lost power in the entire home and your circuit breaker is switched. And if you get no lights at that point, then you want to give us a call at technical support because you might have a, a bad router that we need to replace. When you're taking a look at the lights on the router, uh, you should notice that the power light, which is the light that sits under the symbol, should stay solid and it should be white, but you'll notice WAN, Internet 2.4 and 5 should flicker. That's normal operations. So if you see some lights on your router and, you've, and you can verify that it has power, but you're still not getting Wi-Fi, what you want to do is you want to take a look at the lights up top. And if you have WAN and internet, but you don't have the lights under the 2.4 and 5 numbers, you want to take a look. There are three buttons here, and the one in the middle is actually a Wi-Fi button. Um, it's very poorly placed because if you're going to handle the router, that's usually where you grab it at. I'm going to show you what happens when you click the Wi-Fi button. Right now, you'll notice that the 2.4 and the 5 lights are not on, but if you click on it, now your Wi-Fi has been restored. If you don't have Wi-Fi on your particular device, or, or, or if you're having an issue with a device at that point, um, you can feel free to give us a call. We're very happy to help, um, and we'll, we'll troubleshoot your smartphone, your TV, your printer, or any device that connects to the network.